Hey there, hi there, ho there. I am here at Triumph Roswell again, and we are going to do a walk through of all the features on the dash. Yes, every menu, every sub menu, we're gonna go through all of them so you see where you can find everything using the home button on the dash. So let's go. So let's wake him up. Ooh, Triumph, welcome. All right, so the first thing you notice is that this dash looks totally different from the 23. It's in a circular pattern and what it's showing is a little bit different. So let's start with the home button and see what we've got. Oh my goodness, that looks totally different. So we've got the display, we've got the bike, we've got journey, and we've got Bluetooth. So let's start all the way at the top with the display. You can adjust the brightness, make it dimmer, or all the way bright. You can change the theme. Ooh, look at that. You can change the theme to blue, or cobalt, or furnace. Ooh, that's really cool. All right, language. Let's see what languages there are to choose from. Okay, UK English, US English, French, German, Italian, Dutch, Portuguese, Spanish, Swedish. Oh my goodness, lots of choices. So let's leave it at the default, UK English. Unit, all right, we're in miles, and you can toggle it to kilometers per hour. You can do economy as miles per gallon or kilometers per gallon. So let's see what all the options are there, miles per gallon, miles per gallon UK, and let's see if the other way gets us kilometers. Nope. Oh, let's see if we change the distance to kilometers. Yep. If you change the distance to kilometers, then the economy setting changes, liters per kilometer, etc. So let's leave it at miles. All right, temperature. You can do Celsius or Fahrenheit. Pressure, ooh, do you want bar? Or what are the other options? Okay, so do you want your tire pressure in bars or, help me out here people, what's the KPAR? Foot pounds of pressure. All right, so we're done with that. Go back, date and time. This is where you would be able to change the date and time and if you need to adjust the date, notice that it's day, month, year, and you can change between 12 hours or 24 hour format with AM, PM, or 24 hour format. Shift indicator. Ooh, what are the options here? You can enable it or disable it. Um, ooh, okay. Running in, user defined. What are the options for user defined? It doesn't say. Oh, okay. So this shift indicator is the one that reminds you to shift, and right now it's disabled, but you can turn it on and have it remind you when it's time to shift. That's pretty cool. And you can put your name in it. Oh, that's so cool. You can type your name in it. Or you can name your bike if you want your bike to have its name in there. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back. Okay. And that's it. We have gone through all the dash options. Let's go through the bike options. Riding aids, what kind of riding aids are there? Oh, this is the road. These are the different modes that you can get. Also, you can get to them with the, oh, there we go, in road mode, sport, normal, comfort. Oh, this is too cool, guys. So there's your road mode, ABS setting, the map, the traction control, and the suspension. Very cool, okay. TPMS, and because the bike is not moving, there's nothing there. Preload, this is where you can set your preload. Damping, coolant, tells you your coolant temperature if you wanna keep an eye on that. Warnings, are there any warnings? Nothing, there are no warnings, okay. Service, here's your service interval. And this is also where you'll find your odometer. Good to know where your odometer reading is. And then settings, riding modes, and you can adjust the settings on the riding modes, and you can reset them back to default. Traction control, on or off. 
This is your Triumph Shift Assist. This is if you want to use your clutch or if you really like using the quick shifter. I love that quick shifter, so don't take that away from me. And I imagine this is where you would find self-canceling turn signals. There we go, that's where those are. And then a factory reset. So let's get back out of settings and that's it. So let's go back to trip. Ooh, what's there? Okay, this is your trip counter. Trip reset manual, or do you want it to reset automatically? Um, trip one, trip two, do you want them to automatically reset? Auto in one hour or manual? Oh, auto every 16 hours. So it would reset every day, every 12 hours. Oh, this is cool, guys. This is a really cool new feature. Okay, very cool. And there's your trip two and trip one counts. And then you just hold the button, hold your joystick to reset it to zero. Fuel status. There's your fuel gauge. Okay, and now let's look at Bluetooth settings. There's your navigation. Ooh, park device. Pair, pair device. Oh, this is where pairing goes. Okay, no device connected. So I can't see what the options are because there's no device paired. But you've got music, you've got phone, SMS. Um, you can still control your GoPro through this. That's awesome. There's an intercom feature. And here's the Bluetooth settings. And this is where you would go to name your unit and also to pair devices. This is where you would pair your devices. And you've got phone, headset, GoPro, and you can pair each unit individually, which is awesome. Navigation pairing, music pairing, um, different settings. There's no phone paired right now, so I can't go into those menus, but that's where they are under Bluetooth. And there you have it. Press the home key again, and it takes you back to the screen where you have all your basic information. You've got the clock top left, the ambient temperature top right. You've got your Bluetooth and battery settings bottom left. That would tell you the battery on the phone and the bars on the phone there. And your regular caution lights are lit. So that's it for the walkthrough on the brand new dash on the Triumph Tiger GT Pro. Goodbye. So I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of the Triumph Tiger 900 GT Pro Dash and all the options on the dash. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And then after you subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you can find out when new videos drop. And again, thank you so much to Triumph Roswell for letting me do this on one of their bikes. Come down to Triumph Roswell and check out all the awesome bikes they've got. They've got a wonderful selection and they've got a bunch of tigers. So come to Triumph Roswell and check them out.